Hello froggy friends! Let's hop into my backyard and find some slug and snail hiding spots. Before we start, let's give a quick shout out to Weezer in Canada for requesting this video. Hiding spot 1 on moist soil. The soil where I find this slug is cool and damp. The moss on the soil holds in moisture. Water keeps the moist tissue of the slug's body hydrated. Without a moist environment, slugs are prone to shrivel up and dry out. Hiding spot 2 under leaf. These two snails were resting on the underside of a magnolia leaf. After I had flipped this leaf upside down, the two snails poke their heads out of their shells and start searching for shelter from the warm sun. When the sun is out or it is windy, snails search for darker, less windy places to rest so they can stay moist. There goes the first snail. It disappears completely under the leaf. The second snail is quick to follow. It leaves a sticky slime trail behind it as it creeps towards the edge of the leaf. Snails crawl forward by contracting the muscles in their foot to grip the surfaces beneath them. Snails and slugs have very strong feet and can grip onto surfaces with suction from their slime, even when upside down. Hiding spot 3, under concrete. Under this upside down concrete stepping stone hide three snails of varying sizes. They are all the same species. The smallest snail is the youngest and the largest is the oldest. Hiding spot 4, under rotting wood. When I flipped up a rotten wooden post, there were tons of resting snails. The shelter from the elements and from predators the fallen post provides the snails makes a perfect snail habitat. The snails are doing very well in this part of the yard. Comment below if you have any suggestions for future animal videos. As always, hopping on those like and subscribe buttons is appreciated. Until next time, froggies!